This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow our back here with another pixelated episode of, uh, of the Threads of Fate. Why, well, I almost forgot what game I was actually playing there for a second. In the last episode, we saved, uh, well, actually, I guess we didn't really save, uh, well, we helped out a family with, uh, <clears throat> well, no, I guess we did save a girl, because then we had to save her, we saved her at the beginning of the episode. Anyway, we saved an airheaded girl and, and helped her family, uh, get a bit further into their research. But, uh, that doesn't help us, help us, uh, get the relic yet. We'll get to the relic eventually, but, uh, or sorry, the relic, or however you want to pronounce it. But, uh, let's talk to the family and see if they got any more clues before we head on. Again, don't worry about the room. We owe you so much for helping Elena. Yeah, now that we know Elena and how she acts, I kind of wish we hadn't, but, uh, no, we're the hero. We can't just leave her to, to be, to be taken out, you know, so... Don't you have any bags or anything you want to drop off in your room? Nope, I'm all here, baby. Where are the polywog? What's Elena talking about? Uh, she's your daughter, dude. I, I have no idea. She's... Uh, did you feed her paint chips, or did you drop her by accident like once or twice? I mean, I'm not saying you're inconsiderate parents, just maybe something happened and... Uh, oh, we can't actually go in there. Maybe something happened and you're just... Uh, you know, I won't tell a soul. I won't tell the cops. Anyway. Thank you for... Thank you for coming, Rue. You wanted to see me, Doctor? I miss skimming through the stuff we brought back from the Tillier. Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh! Neat. No. Did you find anything about the relic? Yes, the magician who lived at the Tillier was also looking for... The relic. I don't know if that's going to get really annoying after a while, or just going to start getting funny at some point, because I decided to do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's written right here. My endless pursuit of the Aeon Relic continues. On the next page it says, The Aeon Relic is sealed by one of the highest orders of magic. Even my powers are incapable of overcoming it. Oh yeah, also last episode we found a crazy pigtailed girl who wanted to take over the world. Of course! Rest in peace, Raul Julia. Uh, the relic is sealed? The Aeon who created the relic probably feared someone would steal it. God, this is getting ridiculous. Like I said, eh, never mind. So he must have placed a powerful seal to protect it. It's probably very difficult to break it. Yes, I'm afraid so. After all, the relic was sealed by a powerful Aeon. Like it says in his diary, even the magician can't break the seal. I don't think we'll be able to do anything either, even if we find out. No. Well, time to pack our bags and go home. I guess, uh, I guess our lady friend's just gonna be stayed captured by cre crazy finger chicken looking good, man. Oh, it's too early to give up, Rui. I'm still not finished. Well, n not, you haven't been Mortal kombat yet? You see, the magician wasn't the only one looking for the relic. Listen to this. I cannot break the seal, and I shall seek the power of the past. Powers of the past, huh? What, are we gonna go back in time with the power of love? Back in time. Long ago, Grand Magician Elroy and his apprentices also sought after the power of the relic. I must see his research on the relic. I must go to Elroy's atelier in the underground ruins. Another atelier? Hmm. Well, something to do, I guess. I made a key that will grant me access to his atelier. The power to uncover Elroy's secrets is in my hands. Make sure not to drop it, dude. But I am too late. I have fallen victim to a deadly disease. I cannot even walk anymore. Oh, this isn't him, it's someone else. For some I thought it was like Klaus said that for a second. Uh, I was like, wait, what? I was like, right, I forgot we were reading a journal there for just the briefest of seconds. He couldn't go. He must have been carrying a terrible disease. He worked so hard, he even made a key, but it was too late. It's very sad, he couldn't walk anymore. Maybe he had like muscular dystrophy or something like that. Well, in games like this, they just say it's a disease because they they, you never know what... You, you want to make it to where it's like, eh, it could have been anything, really. So how about it, Rui? Let's uncover the mystery of the relic together. I don't know how far we can go, but I think it's something we're trying. Well, it's always better to have a team than doing this all. At least Rui isn't like a typical, like, edgelord type of main hero. At least he didn't seem like it. That's the key made by the musician. With that, we should be able to enter the ruins and find out Roy's atelier. If we can find his atelier, I think we can find out more about the relic. Where are these underground ruins? They're quite far. It takes at least half a day to get there by foot. But don't we have horses or anything else on this island? Or, no, I guess not. Okay, let's pack up and get going. 
Well, how's your foot, dude? Eh, uh, I thought so. Ouch! Doctor, are you alright? I think you should take it easy with until your leg heals. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell a man of, of archaeological science or whatever whatever technically he is to hold off for a while, but uh, you know, gotta heal the body before you improve the mind. Oh, it's nothing. I twisted. I twisted. Ankle isn't gonna stop me from chasing my dream. Sounds like it. You know, you keep just stepping on the same foot. You think it would just start hopping or get a or get a crutch or something like that? Ouch! Need a rest, doctor. There's no way you can take a long trip with that leg. You know, I've heard doctors are the way the worst kind of patients because they think they know better, so it's hard for them to have another doctor look uh, look after them, even though they know about the profession. I'm, sh I'm sure the missus and Elena will worry. What? Sorry, dude. It's time for si time for brute, uh, silent protagonist. Oh wait, we're not silent, everyone. Please leave it to me. I'll go to the underground rooms by myself. I can't let you do that. Those ruins are filled with monsters. Yes, but who has the sword here? Hmm? It's too dangerous to go there by yourself. Take this. I mean, uh, let's go to let's go together after my leg heals. Yeah, I mean, who else is? It's not like we're on a timer, right? Unless unless that fing, uh, that finger man or whatever you want to call it like, gave us a deadline, but I'll be fine. <coughs> Besides, if it's dangerous, I should definitely go alone. I mean, how many fighters do we have on this island anyway? Us, like. That one pigtail girl, I guess she seemed like she might have been a fire. Although she did seem kind of clumsy. I really don't think that's a good idea. I'll find the relic. Or find the relic, doctor. I swore to myself I would. Doesn't matter what lies ahead. I have to keep moving. Dot, dot, dot. All right, just promise me one thing. Don't overexert yourself. If it gets tough, just come back, okay? Okay. Good luck, Rui. Oh. Time to time to do this all on our own. No allies. Great. Oh well. I mean, we're like I said, we're the only one with a weapon, so we'll be fine. <clears throat> the name of the magician who lived in Corona Forest was Cal Caldamon. Caldamon? What is he? A Pokemon? Or Catamon? <clears throat> Maybe. Anything I can actually search? Probably not. Nope. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it. No, I guess not. <clears throat> Man, sorry about that, just got something cut in my throat. Alright, nothing down here. Anything else, Doctor? No, I lived about 500 years ago. He was in control of Corona in its nearby regions. According to his manuscripts, he did a lot of research on mechanical dolls. Mechanical dolls, you say? Yeah, that's probably not important. Very careful, Ray. Really. <coughs> <coughs> Jeez, sorry about that. The underground ruins are full of dangerous monsters. Well, then you want to go with me? <laughs> Now I gotta. Now I gotta think of. I wonder what happened to that girl, Mint. Eh. Probably best to forget about her. She seemed like a megal, megalomaniac and and a clumsy oaf to begin with. So, so best to, best just to forget her. She's not important at all. Whoops. Stuck on the stairs there. Stairs, my one weakness. All right. Anyway, happy music. Hey wife, your husband tried to like run off on you. You got big feet, by the way. Going to the underground roots. Monsters are vicious, so be careful. Be very careful. Make sure you're well equipped before you go there. With what? I have my weapon. I think I'm fine. Also, it might be a good idea to register at the end before you leave. Save the game. I've already done that though. My husband's crazy. He'll never learn. You married him, dude. You're probably just as crazy as he is. He said he's gonna go to the ruins as soon as he can walk. Well, I mean, you either let him go there by himself or you help him out. I mean, you got a weapon. You can you can help him out. There are giant reptiles in the ruins. Don't let their clumsy motions fool you. They breathe fire. Well, then they're dragons, or at least something similar to that. Okay, so we've, uh, we've done our dialogue. Let's see if there's any. <coughs> see if the town has anything else to offer before we leave to the ruins. Ah, oh, no, not. I mean, hi, how's it going? Polly, there you are. She still thinks I'm a polywog. Where are you going? Going to the underground ruins to try and find more clues on the relic. Really? Darn. What's wrong? Well, there's a big lake right by this town. It's really pretty, so if you weren't busy, I wanted to take you there. <coughs> oh well, maybe next time. I found the ruins, Polly. <sighs> Lena, I told you before, I'm not. Bye, Polly. And she wanted to go out. <coughs> she wanted to go out to the lake with us. No, no, sir, we do not. Uh, 
Not getting together with you, Airhead. Sorry, you're very pretty and very nice, but uh, if I have children, I don't want them to be, you know, a bit... I don't, I don't want them to be slow, if you know what I mean. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of curious if there's anything, anything on the... Where's that one dude? Oh, hey. Welcome to Corona. It's part of my job to welcome visitors. We know that already. Most of the boxes here belong to Marco. He's some big shot trader from the city. Oh, really? I'm free till the next ship comes in. I might as well get back to the tavern. Why aren't you there? Okay. Nothing in here. I was just seeing if there's anyone actually over here, but it doesn't look like it. I don't think most of the characters have, like, unique dialogue after a point. Like, some of the... There's a few, I think, but not too many, so... But yeah, we'll just do a kind of a quick quick run around really quick before we do the next dungeon. That's usually how it's going to be. You go inside here, talk to everyone, go to a dungeon, talk to armless women. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Have you come to pray? No. Cool. Is this, the, is this still where you have to pay like a, a ton of gold to do it? Excuse me. Would you like to make a donation? Yeah, I don't. I still don't have the money for that. Sorry, dude. I'll have to look up. Uh, <coughs> Man, I still got something in my throat. I'll have to look up online and see what uh, see what donating certain things get you if it, if if anything at all. Nope, can't go in there still. And that's the place I would charge you like an arm and a leg to do it, which I am not doing that. Have you met a name named Rod? He's a weaponsmith. He, his work is quite impressive. I might actually buy one. I don't know if that's the voice I actually gave that guy before, but whatever. What is my business? I run a trading company. Cool. If you wish to do business, let me know. I'm known to offer some of the best deals. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem with only recording like once a week on certain games so that you forget like, what voices you give certain characters. Hello, will you be staying with us? It'll be 500G. No, dude. I, you say the same thing, I think, so we'll skip past you again. It's nothing new from you. Let's see, what was this place again? Wasn't this like the uh, the milk bar or the bar? I mean, seriously, it's a bar. It's just, you know... Oh, no, this is not... That's right, this is the auto shop. The one next door is the bar. But anyway. Uh, <coughs> Hello! Oh, no, I already did that voice. Hello, can I help you? Sure. Let's see, what we got? We got... Now, we only got 200 gold. Can't really afford anything. Oh, we can sell monsters. Okay, what about... Is the Moonstone, are those just something I can sell too? Hmm. Do you sell the whole thing, or do you just sell, like, one of the coins? Um... Well, let me see. Well, I mean, let's just sell the pile while we can see what happens. And that gives us some money. If we do. Oh, we just sell all our monsters. Okay. Do we need to keep any of those monsters? I assume any dungeon will give us... Uh, will give us the money we need. So okay. So what do we got? We can. Uh, might as well sell those stones. I don't know what those do though. Maybe just sell one just in case, and we'll uh, we'll just do uh, we'll just do a, be a standard upgrade bronze belt and bronze bracelet. That should probably be fine. Okay. But yeah, I would say each dungeon would have would have its, like, monsters if I needed it specialty, so it's fine selling them, I think. Anything think in that door, or is that just, just a side door? Okay. And that takes us back, that takes us outside. And that's the... Was that the one I forgot to go inside? No. Uh, or, yeah, I've been here, but, uh... Where's the, uh... Where's the bar? Did I miss that by accident? I know it's right here somewhere. Let's see what the beach has before we head out. Oh, is that one uh, guy around here still? Oh, yeah, there he is. There's his dog? I think that's a dog? And then whatever that is. Hey, dude. What's up? Hey, boy. You. Hey, boy. You had to challenge me? Who are you? Sure, you want to know? Oh, I'll tell you. I'm a weapon maker, a vagrant, a swordsman. I'm Rod, the Blade Star. That's Johnny Wolf, best pal. Looks like a puppy to me. Not, not really much of a wolf. So, you're a swordsman that makes weapons. 
Yeah, the best way to test my artwork is for me to use it. Nothing beats using artwork against a great rival combat. It gets my heart warm, know what I'm saying? If I could do a Spanish accent, that's what I would do, because that's what's really kind of like what I'm feeling for this guy, but eh. Uh, my name is Inigo Montoya. Prepare to die. Dot, dot, dot. How about it, boy? You care to fight me? What? Hey, dog, get off me. Your weapon caught my eye. My weapon versus your weapon. My heart versus yours. I am not tearing my heart out, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. That thing on your back isn't ornamental, is it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I'll fight you. For that, that looks like a choice option. All right, get away from the screen, dog. Shoot. All right. Forward fight. Tell me your name. Rue. Rue. Okay, Rue. Let's see if you've got some heart. Oh, I forgot. I need you to pay up before we fight. 100 gold? What? Why do I have to pay you? That's my rule. Hey, if you win, I'll pay you a thousand G. The money just makes it a little bit more interesting. But what matters is heart. So, are you still up for it? <sighs> sure. Pay and fight. Okay. Here's the 100 G. Alright! Let's get it on! Who's good on? All right, let's see if we can fight Rod, if we're actually good at this or not. Ooh, hey, check out my new weapon. All I can see is your abs, dude. Man, you, you can cut cheese on those things. It's called Silver Breeze. Cool. Wow, what a weapon. All right, Rue. Don't just boy be. Yeah. Oops. Ah. All right, let's see how he, uh, see how he fights. Pretty... I haven't let him hit me yet, so I don't know how much damage he does, but... Whoa. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> get, get some... Looks like this game does have a backstab. Whoa. Uh, wah -ha! Oh, no. We're going to lose. Okay, I guess you can lose in this game. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, he beat me. Nuts. Hey, good fight. That is an incredible weapon. Gave my best, but I just couldn't match it. No, I just... I just didn't block like I should have. Don't worry about it. It's not that you're weak or anything. I'm just too damn powerful. Why don't you challenge me again after gaining some experience? I'll be in town for a while, so come by any time. Alright. Probably if I had better armor, I probably wouldn't have gone so bad, but... Eh, what can you do? Alright, we'll come back later. Let's see, that's the their house. That's the inn. Where is the... I already went there, right? Did I? Maybe. I guess you can't go in there. All right. Well, anyway, let's talk to these guys. <laughs> King Graham, huh? No. I've been through some. Uh, sorry. I've been through some adventures all my life. Sorry, I was trying to do an older voice. I've been through some adventures all my life. Want some tips? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ask me anything. For, uh, the basics. You can buy bracers to raise your striking power. But hitting hard isn't everything. Against some monsters, it doesn't matter how hard you hit. It's a lot better to focus the hits on their weak points. Same goes for belts. Better belts give you better protect more protection, but don't rely on them too much. It's always better to dodge than to take hits. Eh, ain't that the truth. The most important thing is to know your enemy well and attack accordingly. Attack fire monsters, use water ice. You can do more damage than that, that way than hitting them. Yeah, that's true. Training. Your HP goes up as you take hits. But don't get carried away and take too many hits or you'll just end up dead. It's good to have high HP, but if you're quick enough to dodge the shots, don't bother taking the hits. There's a way to raise your own magic points, too. Basically, your magic point limit gets higher as you use more magic. So don't be stingy. Keep using your magic. I haven't been pretty bad about that, so... No, we'll remember that in the future. So this game has, like, what, Final Fantasy II style of leveling up your... Uh, Magic HP, because of Final Fantasy 2, and I'm not talking about Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 2, I'm talking about Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 2, we had to, like, get smacked to raise your HP. It was kind of annoying, actually. It took forever. Coins. You can get special coins at the church. They can be last saved as a crucial time, in addition to paying, and don't forget to donate to the church. Gods don't smile down at freeloaders, so you better earn a lot and donate a bundle. You can get these special coins in other places, too, so keep your eyes open. So that's how you get the coins, is how much you pay them, huh? There's just so get so caught up on coin hunting that you forget your duties. Heh, <laughs> duty. 
You can earn money by killing monsters and selling monster coins. Okay, so we have to sell monster coins. If you don't want to sell them, that's fine too. Keep those souvenirs. I don't care about keeping them. You can sell other stuff besides monster coins like night stones, moon stones, and star stones. I wish I talked to this guy before I sold everything. There's no point keeping these stones, so you might as well sell them as soon as you get them. Oh, I should have just kept it. Bought a better, better, um... Eh, whatever. That's fine. It's always good to come back and check places you've already visited. You might find rare items and stuff you missed earlier. Sometimes it's better to sell rare items to people other than merchants. I'll offer you more. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. I feel like I... Oh, I think I know what I... Okay. Hello. Do you want to... Do you want to know something neat? The Polywog's original name was Will-O-Wisp. That was... Those things are not Will-O-Wisp. I wonder why they ch changed it. Because Will-O-Wisp are freaky creatures of, uh, of Irish or Scottish mythology, you know, that want, that, uh, haunt, uh, that haunt and lure unsuspecting travelers to their dooms. Let's see. You know, I think I, I, I think I forgot to open this. Or no, I think it said it was locked. Never mind, so. Hey, what can I do for you? Oh, we can... Oh, we can sell the coins. If we want to sell the coins, we can, but I'd rather keep the coins, because those actually can get used, so let's send the Moonstone. And we sold those. Oh, and he can raise our stats. Cool. But, man, you have to have, a, uh, You have to, uh... Have quite a bit of money for that. Oh, boy. Or at least that's what it looks like. It looks like he can raise my stats with, uh... With money, if we don't get through combat or whatever, so I'll keep that in mind. But I don't know if I'm going to be grinding a ton of a uh, ton of money. I don't think I really. I, I don't remember having to really do that when when playing this game a long time ago. But hey, nice to see my favorite. Uh, ah, it's good to see you. Yeah, it is. Thank you for all the milk. I forgot what I get. A voice I gave him again. You want something to drink? No. Yeah. Well, actually, I do have the money, so... Milk. Well, that's right. It oh, I'm, I'm on zero MP. Or HP. I could probably... Actually, I wonder if it'll let me rest in the end or, and heal that up. Because I forgot Rod... Rod beat me with a, with, a, with a rod. Or two rods. Or swords. Whatever. Alright, time to rest. And then we'll... Then we'll... Um, I wonder if you get healed if you do rest there or not. Uh, let's find out. All right. Yep. Cover. Yay! Okay. Now I think if we leave, if we go through the front again, I think we do can. Uh, yeah, we can go to. Uh, we can go back to Corona Forest and check. Go check uh, things we might have missed, or we can go to the underground ruins. Let's see what. Uh, let's see. Go back there. Leads us. I think there were a few things that were like there were a few empty areas and everything like that. And of course, if I want to grind for for gold and everything like that, um, I'll probably just try to like probably just like rush through it just to see if I find any like extra coins or anything like that. Can you actually jump in that thing? I was kind of hoping to go down it like a like a Mario plumber or something or Mario brother or something like that. Yeah, I bet this is a way for you to, if you want to grind money for, uh, um... What button is it again for? You know, this is what happens when you don't play it while you forget. Okay, it's square again, that's right. And then you hold it down. It looks like you can still, uh, turn back to, uh... Okay. Just making sure. Oh, that's right, not gonna transform to... I'm just seeing if there's, like, anything that, like... Anything we can... That we can get that I missed from before. Probably the... Oh, I don't remember fighting you. Or, my, uh... Come back here, monkey thingy. It doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, what's this? You wanna go home? Oh, what... What is that? Is that just a... Oh, is that a frog? Oh. What, take me home, Froggy? What? Er, yeah. What, you come back for my other LP? Yeah, there's a monkey running around here. Where'd it go? Huh. 
Oh yeah, I've tried also. I'm not I'm not really trying to grind for coins or anything like that, but if I see it on the way to wherever, then I'll then I'll uh, check it. But yeah, the monkey was here and then he kinda just disappeared. I thought there would have been something back here because of the that, but no. Nope. Alright, well. Nothing here then. At least I'm not seeing anything, so. Alright, next area. At least I didn't see any coins or anything like that. And yeah, I think some of these areas were blank before when we were when we were uh, taking Elena. Um, whoa! Oh, okay. You can't not fall through there. Good to know. You will you will get hurt. You will get hurt so fierce. Hello. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's really been any reason to come back through this way. I guess if, I think I did find like one or two points while doing this previously. Uh, oh, that was weird. I was like stuck on it or something like that. This is where he met the good doctor and his wife. Ah! Where does that take us? Oh, and that drop. Oh, I didn't mean to drop down, but. Oh, yeah, there was that, like, a bit of this place that you could just, like, fall down in. I went, so that's why I got to check out here, but. I already jumped up there before and I didn't find anything. I guess this is a good spot to try and, uh, yeah, grind for grind for monsters or whatever, as well as to see if there's any other random treasures. I'm not really seeing anything. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. I guess a good way to get my HP up, too. Yeah, not as effective as an e of an episode I, uh, I would like it to be, but I saw something glint there for a second. Must have been my imagination. Yeah, these guys are a lot easier than Rod. Although Rod wasn't really that tough, I just got like a bad, I just got a bad break. Oh well. Then again, I never said I was a, like a expert like action action adventure player, you know. As much as I like games like that, but. see anything else. Yeah, I probably won't do this in the future. If I do, I might do it off screen and just uh, see and then just mention if I find anything. But at least this area looks like there's really no reason to go back to it like, except for like maybe trying to prove my HP or whatever. Up oh, there's the frog again. So yeah, take leap, leap on froggy or whatever you want to call it. And I've seen stranger like Things to send you back home. All right, anything in here? Probably not. Just doing a quick overview, see if any like coins or anything like that pops up. Find remnants of that mint girl if she's still around here. Probably not. Probably gone off on the her own thing, her world. I think we checked in there. Didn't we? Oh yeah, that's the weird. Where you're going outside, you're like, okay. That was a bit silly, but. Uh, no. Alright. Yeah, in the future I'll do it off. I'll go to old areas off screen just to see if, uh. See if anything else, uh. Alright, let's, uh. Have the frog take us home. I might try doing the. Oops. <laughs> Come on. I think before we end the episode, I think I'll try to beat Rod again. See if I. I think I could do it without having to like a little grind or anything with that, because I did almost beat him. So it's not like I wasn't. It's not like I almost didn't almost do it, you know. Yeah, might as well do both. Oh, I'll end up using the uh, memory card for sure, saving every single spot every time I play, because you never know. Yeah. Before we uh, call it, let's see if we can try fight, fight old Rod again and. And not get a not get hit by his a uh, twisty spinny attack or whatever. Not that I need a thousand gold. It's the principles of it. If you'll let me fight me. What's up? You here to fight? Yeah, sure. Okay, cough up the hundred G. You win. I'll pay ten to one. Yes. All right. Let's get on. Let's get on. Okay, Rue, your weapon versus my silver breeze. All right. Oh, come on! Is 
really oh is the dog attacking me huh interesting the dog is attacking me you jerk that is not cool oh man that's a that's a not the cool oh wow jeez he's tough that was a good fight it looks like you need a bit more training don't worry you got a lot of potential come back and challenge me again sometime wow well, good thing I saved it so anyway well the town is uh we've been given our task to go to underground ruins and we went back to the old forest and found nothing and rod well showed us up a little bit so in the next episode of threads of fate we'll check the underground ruins and see what awaits us thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time